Okay, welcome to Fable, the anniversary edition. Um, it's honestly one of my favorite games of all time. Um, and I decided to just purchase it just to sort of relive that nostalgia uh, as a kid. So we're just going to jump right into this. This is a brand new game. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Sometimes he imagined himself as a noble knight or a powerful wizard. And other times he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. But in all his dreams of greatness, he could not possibly imagine the power of the destiny that lay before him. Come on, wake up. Daydreaming again, were you? Just like your mother, mind always wandering. Well, let it wander off to find your sister, will you? She's out playing by the Barrow Fields gate. Remember, you haven't given her a birthday present yet. Don't tell me you forgot to get her one. Well, I'm not bailing you out this time, son. Hmm. I tell you what, I'll give you a gold piece for each good deed you do around Oakvale. That should be enough to buy her a present. Now, get moving and stay out of trouble. Okay, so I'm playing this on PC today. Um, growing up, I played it on Xbox. Um, so this is quite visually a lot different to what I grew up with. It's also been remastered, so yeah. So for memory, I think he's behind this house over here. You're always in a hurry, lad. Honestly, this game was such a game changer. Um, you know, within the character development, uh, you know, the character would age, he would scar if he got injured, um, he would change visually if he was good or bad. Um, I think I'm gonna lean towards being good. <laughs> no, you just... <laughs> what? Uh, look, Sonny, my wife, but a man should be entitled to tell you what. If you just don't tell. Oh, oh I promise I won't tell on you. Probably won't do a full gameplay, I just want to sort of introduce you guys to the game and basically what it's about. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys really enjoy it and appreciate what it is in itself, even if the other games after this weren't as great as this one. Is very slow. The barrels in these warehouses might quick. What? Unless you're too scared. Come on. Very slow to start off with, but um, as you 
progress through the game, it, it does get quite interesting. The story is, is fantastic. No, I'm not doing it. I don't know how brilliant it looks. It's amazing. <laughs> okay. Let's go and find this teddy bear. Okay, let's go find Dad. Sister's a bit of a fatty, so she loves the old sweets, so we might get her that. Hello, lad. Some little girl I saw, and it seems it just so happens that I have a guarantee. Young sir, <laughs> keep it up, lad. you did last year. I'm sorry if I woke you up last night. It was another of those dreams. I was standing in this field when something happened, but I can't remember what. Never mind that though. I'm still waiting for my present. I knew you were going to bring me chocolates. It's just like my dream. Come on, let's go home. Mother will be back for my party any minute now. Okie dokie. Wait, there's something wrong. Bandits! It's really happening. They're here. You've got to hide. and steel, slaying and burning all in their path. Blood-red flames lit the night as the villagers screamed and begged for mercy, and soon their bodies filled the streets. father fought to protect his 
kin, but he was no warrior. He fell mortally wounded. The bandits ripped the house apart, but could not find the boy. Through torture and threats, his mother and sister remained silent, and their furious attackers took them both. woods. The boy watched as all he knew was taken away. His whole life was crushed to ashes. He was alone. Poor fellow. you'd have a stronger stomach than that. Come on. <sighs> Save your energy, boy. It's not me you want to fight. You might not realize it, but I just saved your life. There's nothing left for you in Oakvale. And if you'd stayed, you'd be as dead as the rest of them. Come with me. My name is Maze. And I'm the head of the Guild of Heroes. You must have heard of it. You'll find nowhere safer in all of Albion, nor a better place to call your home. And if it's vengeance you want, you'll need the training only we can offer. Here we are. I'll introduce you to the Guildmaster. He'll be your guide from now on. So a new adventure begins. student for you. Put him in the dorm upstairs with the girl. You don't look much like hero material to me, but Maze knows what he's doing, I suppose. Well, follow me then. You'll be sharing this room with Whisper, one of our brightest young pupils. She's playing in the woods right now. But you'll meet her in the morning. For now, you should get some sleep. Your training starts tomorrow. <laughs> it's time to wake up. You must be my roommate. Shorter than I expected. My name's Whisper. I've been here for a month. Had the room to myself till now, too. But that's all right. You know you talk in your sleep. Sounded like a bad nightmare. Happens to a lot the first week. Some don't even last that long. You won't either if you don't get moving. The Guildmaster is waiting for us in the map room. You don't want to be late on your first day. Follow me. Looks like the Guildmaster got tired of waiting for you. He's probably at the training grounds across the river. Let's go! 
But, uh, there's heaps of um, quests and stuff to do, um, but I'll probably just stick to the main ones through this walkthrough. Time to see if you've any potential. Get in the ring. Now then, I want you to hit that dummy as hard as you can. Just keep going till I tell you to stop. You're not making much of an impact there, are you? Here, try with this. destroy an enemy like this dummy, it drops an experience orb. These orbs contain the knowledge gained from killing the creature. It's very important that you collect these orbs, or you won't learn anything. Now pick it up. Well done, lad. Now then, tomorrow we'll... That's the guild alarm. Sounds like they might be something loose. Oh no. This is a good opportunity to test your spirit. I'll wait for you at the Guildwood's entrance while you deal with the problem. Once you're done, we can talk about starting your training. So there's heaps of quest cards and stuff. Um, as items, these are apples. I think this is for a quest to make a pie or something um, but yeah within the quests you can do boasts uh, there's heaps heaps and heaps of stuff to do it's definitely a game changer this one right so I think we're gonna kill 10 beetles this right here is a fishing spot uh, later on in the game you'll actually find a fishing rod um, Easy as that. Good work, lad. Those beetles can be a damn nuisance. Here, I think you've earned yourself some pocket money for that. If you want more gold, I'm sure the servants could use your help with something. Or you can get an early night. I think I'll get an early night. The guild was now the boy's life. The memory of the Oakvale flames still scorched his mind. But soon he had no thought other than training, and he became stronger and more agile with every passing year. His days were filled with grueling exercises with study in the library. Finally, he was ready to become a guild apprentice, just as Mays had foreseen. The real training was about to begin. Get out of bed, lazy bones. We were supposed to meet the guildmaster on the other side of the river, but that was an hour ago. We better get going. Race you there. There's a common thing where the main hero is just always sleeping or lazy. It's in Zelda. <laughs> I actually started playing um, Zelda before this and it sort of... I don't know, it had like sort of a Zelda theme to it, you know? And that's where I sort of got really interested into it. Anyway, we will continue with the training.
it again. You can put that old stick away. We'll begin training with real weapons now. Get used to the weight of this sword. save your life one day. The life of a hero is a dangerous one, and you must learn to block your enemy's attacks if you expect to live long. Whisper will try to hit you, but you can block her attacks with your sword. Not all blows can be blocked, but you should be able to handle anything Whisper can throw at you. See if you can combine attack and defense. Ah, hello, Thunder. Come to check on your sister's progress, have you? You could say that. Whisper told me you got her training with some farm boy. Maze thinks the boy has great potential. Enough to keep up with my Whisper. Ha! <laughs> well, why don't we see? Whisper and the boy are just working on their melee skills now. All right, children. Let's see who has learnt the most in their training. This will be a no-holds-barred duel, just like your final melee test. Prepare yourselves. more. Shame you couldn't see me fight in the arena. You might have learned a thing or two. Keep training if you want to go there yourself one day. I could have beaten him if you hadn't stopped us. We have few enough heroes as it is, without the two of you tearing each other apart in training. Speaking of which, meet me as I make my way to the archery range, when you're ready to continue your lessons. Oh, and about your melee performance? Very good, lad. Keep fighting like that and you'll go far. Uh, can we just keep it rolling? Range to continue your training. Bane in the wars, guild master. Let's continue our training with the bow. To begin with, see if you can hit the three stationary targets. Unfortunately, most foes don't stand still. So let's see how you fare against moving targets. You have a minute to score as many points as you can. The front target is worth one point. The middle one is worth three. Oh no, this is where it gets a little bit more difficult. Missing it. Ah, good shot. That's a good one. Mess that up. Anyway. Do that in your skill test, and I'll be most impressed. Next, we will learn about the ways of the will. Speak to me when you're ready to continue. 
Excellent use of magic. Well done. Okay, so I think you can redo all these training courses and you get graded and you get um, different weapons for how you perform. So I won't worry too much about that. Like I said, I'll just keep it going. Very good, lad. You have learnt the three hero disciplines. We can now move on to your final test if you're ready. Or you can spend some more time exploring. I think we'll keep it going. I hope you're ready. The boy mastered the skills quickly, but there was always more to learn. For years, the guild was his home, his school, and his life. But as time passed, his thoughts returned always to the world outside. The life he had lost. At last, only the final day of tests remained. Success would mark the end of his training. He would receive the guild seal and be free to forge his own destiny. He would become a hero. Before you graduate, there is one final test you must complete. Enter the guild woods and go to the log at the top of the hill. Okie dokie. I suppose you're wondering how you passed the final test then. It's simple. You must defeat me, using all you've learned in your years of training. And we'll begin with your sword. Hit me, if you can. Excellent. That's pretty easy. For a you will find real battles rather more fatal than this. But you have passed your final test. And you're ready to receive your guild seal from the guild master. Well, this is the day, lad. I remember the first night you came to us, and look at you now. Maze's faith in you was well placed. Now come along. The graduation ceremony will take place in the Chamber of Fate, the oldest part of the guild. Let the apprentices approach. For many years now, you have worked hard to earn yourselves the title of Today, that apprenticeship ends and you go out into the world to do great deeds. Deeds that...
that will bring you the gratitude of thousands or strike fear into their hearts. These are dark times. The shadows of Albion are stirring and strange winds are blowing. Your choices, whether they lead you down the path of good It's time for you to leave us then. But you're still very much part of the guild. On the map table, you will find details of any quests the people of Albion wish heroes to perform. And you'll need to return often to focus all your experience into new skills. Only by doing this regularly will you advance as a hero. Step into the light and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, so this is your experience um, or character development thing. Um, you can upgrade your character's abilities through this. And I'll show you how to do this. Uh, usually I target this one. Um, I'll just go with that one for now. There is little else for me to teach you. But I will always be around to offer you guidance. And your guild seal will allow me to communicate with you at all times. You will also notice it flashing when you have enough experience to spend. I have given you a basic pack of supplies. It'll be enough for a while. Now there's a whole world for you to explore. Basically how this works is you are given a, a set amount of quests. Um, each quest you do gets you more renown points and the more renown points the harder the quests you receive. So um, let's just start it off. The first one is the Wasp Menace. Um, so we'll take that one. You are able to um, get extra rewards um, through both so that's just something to think about most of them are just are like take no damage or you know wear no clothes all that sort of stuff <laughs> Remember, following the gold markers on your map will lead you to your quest objective. Wasps are attacking the picnic area! It's this way! This gentleman here sells you titles. Um, I think the basic one is Chicken Chaser, but you can change it. There's no real point to this I don't think it's just basically what people refer to you in the crowds and stuff so there is trouble something to think about they need a hero like you. Okay, so throughout your quest you'll find keys hidden everywhere that open chests there was one at the guild um, you need 20 keys, so that's one that's later down the track. Um, I think you get, majority of them you get weapons and stuff. But you might get other stuff like clothing or armor. From memory, keep in mind it's been many years since I've played this. Oh, 
whoops. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Easy as that. So that was the first, I guess, boss. And you'll get trophies as, uh, I guess, mementos for your tasks you've completed. And of course you'll earn renown. Also able to customize your character. There's, I think, there's tattoos, um, hair, facial hair, obviously. Um, so that's another thing that's quite cool. Uh, what else have we got here? All right. Okay, just going back to the guild. There's fast travel uh, for computer. It's um, just the whole G. So. We're heading to Bowstone. What can I do you for? Sword again. I got you where you used to be an adventurer like yourself. You must be. A There's also different expressions. Uh, for this one, I think you need to. You smell like rotten rat corpses. <laughs> ah, you're as bad as that stinking beggar. Oh, I'm out of here. <laughs> Funniest thing I've seen in years. You've earned my thanks, hero. I'm sure you'll make many friends in your travels. Perhaps we'll meet again, hero. Perhaps not. Okay, so yeah, there's just little things like that to get, uh, I guess, um, good points or bad points. Like I said, I'm, I'm more or less just going to try and get the good stuff, so, or the, the good deed stuff, so. This is Bowerstone. Some rules around here that you need to know about. 
Bowerstone is a peaceful town. Uh, I'll have to confiscate your weapons for now. There are shops, inns, lots of different people, games, <laughs> all kinds of things. Why not pay the tavern a visit first? It's the building in front of you, just up the road from here. Oh, and keep an eye open for Lady Grey. Treat her with respect. She is the mayor, after all. Have a look around and enjoy your stay in Bowerstone. Okay, let's go see Mayors. Over here. Been enjoying all the attention, have you? Yes, I heard about your encounter with the Wasp Queen. Most of Bowerstone is talking about it. But, um, you shouldn't let that kind of thing go to your head. Uh, anyway, that's not why I called you here. You see, there are dark forces gathering that put your giant insect to shame. Tell me, how much do you remember of the night I took you to the guild? Of the raid on Oakvale? Not much, I wager. A most terrible night. I thought those bandits had killed your whole family, and that you were going to be next. But it seems there may have been another survivor. Your sister. I'm afraid it's only a rumor, and there's no way to be certain yet. But I thought you should know. And for pity's sake, boy, make sure you replace that basic equipment while you're here. Can do. Can do. All right. Check the guild for more quests. Chase chicken. You've come to the right place. Uh, might buy this katana. Uh, My cousin says Orchard Farm's got some weird guns on. A bit of exploring up here. There's just something I wanted to show off. So this here's a barber. I uh, won't mess around with that. But up here... I believe this is the school. This here is quite unique. Um, you can actually buy houses. Um, obviously, I don't have enough money for it now. Um, and yeah, just another cool thing that's incorporated in this game. Anyway, let's head down here. You're looking on the mini-map, there's a lot of green things, there are people to talk to, um, most of them are just quests and stuff. Um, down here we've got a colour skate. Um, works similar to the fast travel. Farm. I'm not going to boast just because, um, uh, I suppose I could have a look at it. No, I won't. I'll just stick with the quests. Um, right here. Don't be disappointed here. I think this is where you go to uh, boast. You just walk on that little thing up there. No, buddy, I'm not. <laughs> anyway, up here. Hey. We head down here, just follow them anyway. It's interesting because I think the developers in the second game ended up getting rid of the um, the mini map because people just spent more time just looking at the mini map instead of appreciating the game. They ended up adding in like a, a, a shiny trail for people to follow, um, whether it was better or not, I'm not too sure. So you're going to be doing some work down at Orchard Farm, are you? I knew that was your two callings. I saw Lady Grey set the opposite quest in the guild yesterday. 
Maybe I should pick it up. I hope you've been practicing. You'll need all the experience you can get to beat me. See you later, farm boy. Um. Just wanted to see uh, about equipping. smashing buttons, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just going to have a look at the controls, if I can. Keyboard options, oops, okay, let's see. Okay. Here we go. Um, this is basically how you change your character. Um, change him to no gloves or no shirt, no clothes at all. Um, I'll just keep all the stuff stock standard. Um, Sworn I purchased a katana. Anyway, I guess not. Easy as that. You're welcome. chests and other little hidden goodies throughout so it's always good to explore um, let's see I'd equip that actually let's see where is it uh, equipment the under potions Yeah, and that just increases your um, will. And again, it's just always good to keep an eye on, on uh, things that are hidden throughout the, the map. Different kinds of enemies, that there was a bandit. Um, 
This here, this is one that was in, this is obviously a smaller one, so it's probably going to be an elixir to increase something. I don't think it'd be a weapon, it's only five keys, so. you do a lot of training through here so the as you get stronger or you progress through the story the uh, the uh, enemies actually change and get stronger there's trolls that spawn there um, you just go in and out and they respawn so something to think about if you need experience points oh thank Avo you're here I thought no one would answer our guild request I've arranged some more security to back you up, but there are so many bandits that they'll tear my farm apart. I wish we'd never found those damn stones. They brought us nothing but trouble. My wife Jenna won't let them anywhere near the house, so we've left them in some crates in the barn. They must be worth a fortune. They say Lady Grey wants them. I've already lost three farmhands in these raids. That must be them now. I better go inside and look after my wife. She's terrified. Thanks for your help. <laughs> All right. So basically, we're protecting those three things there. Lots of cool animations for this, so... Some more bandits are approaching! Hit a friendly. Hopefully, he doesn't attack me. <laughs> Some more bandits are approaching. Oh no, poor fella. Anyway, I think we're finished with this quest. So, you've learned some new moves, have you? Well, you're not the only one. I hope you've learned how to flourish, because that's the only way you're going to get close to me. Go on, try to hit me with a flourish. So you can do it. I'm still going to beat you though. So it's good to keep an eye on your health.
Especially if you're not good at the game. Again. <laughs> I suppose this quest is yours then. But you can't stay lucky forever, farm boy. We're bound to meet again, and I'll be ready. Not sure why she hates me so much. You did it. I can't tell you how grateful we are. Someone should be round to pick up the boxes soon, so we shouldn't have any more problems. Can't see why there's been so much fuss about those stones. Be glad to see the back of them myself. Must be worth plenty Ooh. of money to someone, though. I'll make sure to tell everyone about you. We need heroes like you around. I know, so another trophy. Um, I think they put these up at the Heroes Guild. Um, or maybe you can keep them as decoration for your houses. So another thing too is you'll uh, eventually find a spade um, and I think you can dig up things. I believe that's tied to a quest, um, but we'll just keep going. I might do one more quest and then I might wrap this up. one can be quite frustrating. Um, I'm going to do the one where you have to kill a certain amount of hobs. Uh, it's frustrating because Whisper actually um, can take a lot of your kills. Head up here. I won't worry too much about these guys.
Some bandits have set up a toll in this region. Be careful. I hope you got the gold they want. These bandits will kill us for fun. I'm afraid this path is bright. Or we can always use your end. So. And the shiny's over. Hmm. No, I don't really want to pay 400. <laughs> Heaps and heaps to explore, heaps of quests, and it's it's definitely a game that's going to take quite a bit of time to to get through, which is always nice. Like I said I think we'll just finish off on this this hog killing quest and then we'll see how we go <laughs> ah there you are about time you showed up i was going to start without you but, uh... I detest those hogs. I said this can be quite frustrating, so... Goodness me. Very good at stealing kills. <laughs> Trying not to. Oh my god. <laughs> Well done, 
You really taught the whole oh, it was a tie. They'll think twice before they try stealing from me again. Not bad. Don't think it'll be easy next time, though. I think I'll hold on to the trophy for now. Whoa, whoa. First hang on, hang on. I've had enough of this. Maybe the guild has something more interesting. <laughs> Uh, Make a move now and check on the damage. It gives you an option to restart. Um, I don't think I'm going to restart. Um, anyway. Um, yeah, definitely a game to check out, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, if you like, like the video. Um, Remember to like it, uh, comments, um, all the rest of that stuff. Thanks, guys.